Eight years since the last winning season. 22 since the last state title. For Van Buren High School, a new coaching staff is bringing excitement back for Friday Night Lights. This is Spirit 52, recapturing the real spirit of high school sports in Arkansas. Presented by Gatorade and First Security Bank. Inspiring us all to what's possible. Thirty-four, one twenty-eight, and a one. That's the football record at Van Buren High School since 2000. It's been 22 years since the Pointers last tasted championship success on the gridiron. In April, the school's administration turned to a familiar name to bring the program back after going winless last season. You won't find a better football community than Van Buren. It is a very, very exciting time for Van Buren right now. Uh, because of bringing Casey in and the guys he's brought with him. Of course, we've been down for a few years now, but I think bringing Casey in kind of gives a spark back to it. You look around and you, and you should be able to look at Van Buren and say, well, why, why can't they win? They're winning ball games under the junior high. Now our job is to get it to transition from 7th, 8th, and ninth grade, obviously up to the high school. It's an awesome community to be a part of. It's a very athletic-minded town. Everybody wants Van Buren or as a community to do really well. That's our job coming in here. We want to get it rolling, get it back to where it's going. Just from sitting down and visiting with everybody here, it just seems like the right fit. To jumpstart the rebuild, Casey turned to two coaches with a history of success in Arkansas. Greenwood defensive coordinator Kenneth Chick and Crosby Tuck, who was leading his own rebuild as a head coach in Georgia after stints as offensive coordinator at Pea Ridge and Shiloh Christian High Schools. Crosby and I have kind of built a couple of programs and had some success and we're hoping that we're all able to do the same thing here. It may take more than one or two years, but that's obviously something that everybody here understands is that, you know, it's, it's going to be a building process. If I didn't believe that what we can do here here is unbelievable, I wouldn't be here. That's why I came. Man, I've been at Greenwood 20 years, been part of eight state championships there. In my mind, it just felt like the right time. The opportunity to take what I've learned under Coach Jones and help this move forward at even a faster pace. They're wanting to take the next step. They're wanting to put a good product on the field. The first day I came down here to introduce him to the kids, I've never seen our kids be so wide-eyed and ready to meet this guy. When he's talking to the kids, they are glued to every word he's saying. I mean, every kid's on a knee, staring him in the eye, yes sir. Man, I'm hoping we can get every kid in this district that wants to be a part of this program out and excited. That's my hope, is that we just, we build a monster. And it starts with him and us and the rest of the coaches getting this place excited. We're going out and talking to those kids, hitting the junior highs, and, and going out and just building relationships. And we want to get all these kids back out here where they need to be, where they need to be out on the football field and get, get it rolling the right way. Dick has experience establishing a path to success. He helped start programs at Byron Nelson High School in Texas and with fellow 7A West team Bentonville West. We've had guys that's come in and, and spread it out a little bit. We've had guys that's come in and run the ball. We've tried everything. AC Dick coming in here, being an ex-Razorback, uh, bringing the spread offense in here, going to be fast, upbeat, everything going for Full speed pretty much. We feel like great things are about to happen. It's like playing basketball on grass. We're going as fast as we can go. We're finding space. We're attacking and we're setting the ball down and we're going again. We came here to pour a little gasoline on the fire and get it going. That was our main job and our main goal of what we wanted to do. But what we wanted to do is have a grasp of how we want to play, our style of play, and then overall how we're going to work together as a team in order to go win football games. The town and its players are re-energized at a chance to return to their winning ways. Once you get the taste of winning with well, that one time, when we use the phrase, you've got to bottle up and remember what it feels like and then be able to transition it from week to week. The community is really fired up about him. The school district's fired up to have him here and I know the kids are. Last year and stuff we weren't as serious about it. It was almost like football is just like a hobby and I feel like now we're starting to take it serious. Everyone's so pumped up and just ready to change Van Buren. I think there's a lot of excitement and there should be. I think we've got a chance to do something really really cool here. We've got a long way to go but we can get there. I feel like if he's here and, and everything works well for him here in the next three four years, Casey's going to be a guy that this town will always remember. I hope you enjoyed this week's story brought to you by First Security Bank. Here's a sneak peek at next week's episode. We return to Hartford, Arkansas as they close their doors for the final time after 100 years. We'll take you inside the graduation of the final class of Hustlers.
we're, if we're not on the field taking reps, we're, we're taking reps with our mind. Or we're coaching each other. Or we're encouraging each other. Or we're keeping right. kind of review everything that we did yesterday. Are good? Yes, sir. Get your drink, get your cold medicine, and we'll be right around here. We'll be right here. <laughs>